What's up, pal? How are you doing today? It's me, James, and I am super duper excited for today's Magic Mail Monday. It's a stitch. And it is a stitch. How awesome is that? And I just like that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Alrighty, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vegas. So today obviously is Monday. It's a Magic Mail Monday, of course, but I am super stoked for this Magic Mail Monday because I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, four things for today's Magic Mail Monday, one of which is pins, but the other three items will be directly correlated to the next video. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxings, shall we? Okay, so this first little box that I have is from my friend Bethany from Florida. She does my Walt Disney World pickups. So I believe this box contains pins from their previous PTN, Pin Traders Night, which was in celebration for Ups 10th anniversary. So very, very cool. I'm super stoked to open this box up and see the pins that I ordered. Some of these pins too aren't even for me. They're for another great Disney YouTuber and friend of mine. So very, very stoked. Awesome, okay, and I also have some of my other pin orders. So, right off the bat, I have one of these pins right here. Very, very cool and excited to get this one. I've been collecting this series for the entire year. So, let's just rip this open and show you guys. I totally love this pin. Let me put the controller back on. It fell off during shipping. But I totally love this pin. Check this out. It is the Kingdom Consoles Darkwing Duck pin. How awesome is that? I am totally digging the fact that they are doing like the old cartoon shows that I grew up with this year for like the Kingdom Consoles. I think last month was Rescue Rangers. So very, very cool to have Darkwing Duck. If it'll focus. Awesome, very, very cool. Let me take this pin off the backer for you real quick. Okay, so here is the back of it. Limited edition 4000, this one, uh, this pin series is released in Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And then of course you have the cartridge that lifts up right here. Very, very cool. And I am super excited to have one more pin for this series. Alrighty, next up in the box, let's see, we have the pin that I wanted from the Up Celebration, the Jumbo Pin. I am super into Jumbo Pins. I love Jumbo Pins. Here we go, inside of the box. This is the 10th anniversary Up House, and this is a hefty, hefty pin, and I am already noticing that it is a hinge pin. So very, very cool. So Carl and Ellie's house opens up right here. Let me show you. Just opens up and bam, you have young Carl and young Ellie. It looks like right after their wedding and they're, nope, not right after their wedding, but they're just chilling in the living room. How awesome is that? I love the detail in this pin. And look at that, you have, you even have pictures of young, young Ellie, like kid Ellie, and their wedding picture right there. And you have a little balloon floating off from their window. Very, very cool pin. I'm not an up collector, but I am a jumbo pin collector. So <laughs> definitely very, very cool to get this pin. And I'm super stoked to get it, even though I'm not like very, I'm not very like, wow, like, like some other people are, but definitely very excited to have this pin. Here's the back of it for you guys. It's got the gold back finish. Then you have the Up logo right there, 10th anniversary. 
And this is a limited edition of a thousand. So not bad, not a bad edition size, but very, very stoked. And this is a very hefty, heavy pin. So this might be hard to like showcase at the parks. One more time at the box. I completely adore this box. The artwork on this is fantastic. Very, very cool. Okay, the last item and the last pins in this Magic Mail Monday are right here in this box. These are the puzzle pieces for Up. And to be honest, these aren't my pins. <laughs> so I will not be opening them up for you guys. You're gonna have to wait for a future video from another awesome YouTuber to see what's inside these boxes. Just let me open them up and show you the box. Very, very cool. Here's the back. And they are limited edition of 1100 for the puzzle pieces. And then there are two chaser pins in this set uh, that are LE 600. So very, very excited to hand this off to another YouTuber and friend of mine. Okay, so the next three packages are huge and will definitely lead into the next video. And actually the video after that, I will be using the three items here. I'm very, very stoked that they came in from the mail. One of them I had to ship from Hong Kong. I had to order one from Amazon, uh, one from the actual website, and then one from Hong Kong. So very, very stoked that this will definitely, like these items will definitely help me for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So. Let's get right into these items. So first off, we have this bag right here that I got from Hong Kong. Let me just cut it open right here. And we have bubble wrap, more bubble wrap from iFootage. Um, if you don't know what iFootage is, they create uh, camera gear. So if you need like a monopod, or a tripod or, you know, just those types of camera gear. iFootage for sure. I'm not sponsored by iFootage, by no means necessary. I did a lot of research and a lot of people love the iFootage gear. So I decided to buy some for myself so that I could make the vlogging experience for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge as smooth and crisp as possible. Plus I have a I think I have a problem with leveling up my gear. <laughs> like one thing for sure about me is I love to get more camera gear, better stuff for my camera. Like I, ha I still haven't replaced this lens. I wanna get another one, but I don't know. Ever since I bought the camera that I'm filming off of, I'm just like wanting to buy more and more camera gear, which is definitely, it's just as bad as pins. <laughs> so here we go, here's the box and the item right here, the picture of it. This is the Komodo K5 iFootage fluid head that will go for tripods and monopods. So what fluid heads do, if you're not familiar with like photography or filmography or whatever, um, they allow you to like do pans and stuff very, very smoothly. And that is definitely something I want to do moving into the future of my Disneyland vlogs, and of course, the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge vlog that will be coming up this Saturday. Beautiful, beautiful box. Let me take this, this little thing out right here. But check this out, beautiful, beautiful box with the uh, foam protecting it. Let me take it all out. So this is like the little bar that you would use when you're panning. Then here's the mounting strip and the hefty fluid head. And I mean hefty fluid head. This is beautifully machined. I forgot which metal it's machined from, but it is definitely heavy duty. You could really do some damage. Just like if I hit myself on the head with this, I would not be going to Star Wars land. <laughs> no, but this is like super heavy duty. This is crazy. Um, I don't know, do you, would you guys want me to do like a further in-depth review of all the camera gear that I'm unboxing today, let me know in the comments down below. Very, very cool. This is insane. Alrighty, so we have this box from the thumbnail. 
This one I am super stoked for too. It is also from iFootage, but I had to order it from a different site because, because the iFootage site did not have it. Alrighty. And here we go. This is an iFootage Cobra Cobra 2. Yes, an iFootage Cobra 2 monopod. Very, very, very stoked for this and to use this in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge as well as other vlogs that I do. So my camera right now and my lighting rig is on a tripod right now and the problem with a full tripod is that it's just bigger and bulkier than a monopod. So that's definitely not something I want to be lugging around in Disneyland. Alrighty, so right out of the box we have this awesome iFootage carrying case that uh, I'll definitely have, but I won't be carrying it around in Disneyland. So let's open this up and reveal the prize. I also, I did a lot of research on the this monopod too, and everybody seems to love the Cobra series monopod. So here we go. Here is the monopod. And this is a Cobra 2 A150. And I forgot how tall it goes. I think it goes up to five feet. So I'm only like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. So that's perfect for me. Um, you have the latches right here to extend it. And look at that. Very, very smooth. And then right here is a quick release thing. Boom, and then you can just take that off. And actually, there, there's just a bunch of cool things with this monopon that I love. So, also down here, let me get this plastic off this first. So we have a rubber stopper for the bottom in case you use it in monopod mode. That way the monopod itself doesn't get damaged and you can also do swivels and stuff like that. And there's also a ball joint down here for even better swivels. But the cool thing about this monopod that for me like set it apart from everything else was not only the release, the quick release, which I will get further into that later. If you can see right here, there are three feet on the bottom and you push the, these buttons right here and it turns into a tripod. So now I have this like heavy duty tripod, monopod conversion thing. <laughs> Instead of using like the regular Joby Gorilla Pod. Um, it's definitely heavier, but look at, I mean, look at this. Now I have like a small tripod and there, are, these feet have uh, three different modes. So you have like this really tall, like steep mode. And then you have the medium mode. And then like there's one where it's really short. Very, very cool. So it's, it's like having both in one and I'm just super stoked to have it. So another awesome thing about this monopod too is like I said, the quick release feature that they have and what is awesome about this, like what, what makes it even better, is that you can take the attachment point for your camera off, you can take off the legs, and now you have just this stick. Then you can attach this to the legs. And now I have a mini tripod as well. A very, very heavy duty mini tripod. I believe this is all machined out of aluminum, so it's not gonna break. And, oh, this is just awesome. And then you can also loosen this so that the ball joint swivels. So very, 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 very cool and super stoked to use this. Um, it is quite heavy, but that's gonna lead into the next item that I bought. Okay, so the final item came in uh, day before everything else came in and I just had to open it because I was super super excited 
and it was just getting me very, very hyped for Star Wars Land. I have this, this giant open box here. I'm gonna set it down aside and pull out what I purchased. So check this out. This is a Low Pro Pro Tactic 350 backpack, all weather. And this, I could do a review on this backpack too if you wanted me to do it. But um, all this stuff came with the bag. So you have a tripod pocket right here that you can take off. Uh, you have these two straps. This one in particular, I put to hold on to the tripod or the, the eye footage monopod. You have this water pocket, you know, water bottle pocket that you can also take off. Everything like on this bag for the most part, you can take off um, except for like the key parts, like the straps and stuff like that. But th it even has like waist straps so that you can divide the weight correctly on your body. And like this, you can take off. And it's also like, it's got pockets on it too to hold stuff in. I definitely, definitely wanted this bag for sure because of the fact that it has like the Molly um, attachment points, which is completely modular. Like you can do whatever and put whatever you want on this backpack. Uh, it's got this like hard top on it right there. So if you drop anything, if you drop the bag, uh, you won't hurt anything. It's got a bunch of entry points to the bag. And this is just a really well-designed bag. On the bottom here, the reason why they say it's all weather, you have a little raincoat for your backpack so that it doesn't get wet. It has been wet in California this year for some reason. So very, very important to have. And then let me open up the bag and show you the inside of it. Look at all of the pockets and compartments. Check that out. So this is a pocket right here. You can put like an iPad or a smaller laptop. My laptop doesn't fit in it, but yeah, you can put a computer in here and it's protected. Um, you can put like cables and stuff like that here. This right here, this is for your camera gear which is very important because I'm gonna bring two cameras, uh, just a, like pretty much all of my camera gear to Star Wars land. And these like little compartments, you can rip off and literally like adjust this backpack to whatever you need it to be. If you don't want it to be a, a camera backpack, you can rip all this out and you can have like a school bag, just anything. You can literally do whatever you want to this bag and it is amazing. Alrighty, pal, so that is the end of today's Magic Mail video. I know a lot of it wasn't even Disney, but it's going to Disneyland. So does that count? Technically, let me know in the comments down below. But um, I am super stoked to have all of this gear. Uh, it was quite expensive, but I definitely saved the money for it. So ooh, I'm so, 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 so stoked for Star Wars Land in a few days. Uh, like I said, this video is going to directly correlate to the next video. So if you want to see that on Wednesday, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification button. The Wednesday video is going to correlate to the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge vlog that will happen on Saturday. I'm going Friday night, but I will post that video Saturday morning, 6 a.m. Disneyland time, and there will be a giveaway in that video. So if you want to hopefully win some cool grand opening Star Wars Land stuff. Be sure to stick around and also hit that subscribe button so that you can hopefully win some awesome stuff. If you wanna chat with me, um, have any questions of any of the items, like any of the camera items that I showcased in this video, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I will respond. Um, also, if you want to text or live chat, I will leave links to my Instagram and my Facebook account down below. But other than that, that is all I have for you on this Magic Mail Monday. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye bye now.